Good day. Today, group 5 members will discuss about hyperlinks, animation, transition, and basic principles of graphics and layouts. Our lecturer for today is Jandri Limadha, Alexander Krame, and John Mark Saladaga. If you want to learn, keep on watching. Hyperlinks in PowerPoint are similar to links you might have seen on a website. They allow you to jump back and forth between specific slides in your presentation, to movie files that don't work on PowerPoint slides to other files, or to a web page if you are connected to the internet. The hyperlink function in PowerPoint allows users to advance from one slide to another slides in the presentation when they click on a parameter words, shape, or images, thereby allowing for a the more dynamic and interactive experience they can be obtained with serial presentation of slides of Animation in the simplest sense, animation is something that makes slides objects move on slides. And slides object can be anything on a slide. This includes text, pictures, chart, smart art, graphics, shapes, even movie clips. An animation effect is especially visual or sound effect at added to a text on an object, slide, or a chart. It is also possible to animate the text and other objects using the buttons of animation effects toolbar. You can have organization charts appear or you can have the bullet points appearing one at a time. Transition. A, a slide transition is a visual effect that occurs when you move from one slide to the next during a presentation. You can control the speed, add sound, and customize the look of transition effects. Slide transitions are not technically animation because they do not involve movement of the, of the individual items on a slide. A transition is how you get from one slide to another. The, the normal way to move the one slide is another to jump the next slide. There, will be, there are over 50 types of slide transition that can be used. A transition happens whenever a presentation slide changes to the next slide. Layout it is a process of planning and arranging graphics or text in a page or book. A good layout should have a balance, makeup, and alignment of elements. Symmetrical, there should be equal weights or elements on both sides of the page. Asymmetrical, it may be asymmetrical when there is an artistic and different intensity on one side of the page. Text. The text type should be number one, legible, capable of being read. Number two, appropriate font fix. Using fonts that are easy to read are key to presentation. The fonts add value to your text. It helps readers to perceive information from the text. The correct choice of color, font, and text size can prove to be vital for attracting your target audience. Left justifies, right justifies, or center. The flow of text should be easy to read. Image The image should be A. Proportionate A part, share, or numbered considered in comparative relation to a whole. B. With high resolution. High resolution means that there are more pixels per inch, PPI, resulting in more pixels information and creating a, a high quality crisp image. C. Sharp in color. A sharp image is properly exposed, showing a nice contrast in edge. It brings out the best, if not the fullest details reproducible in an image. It really looks crisp and sharp with visual osity. This requires proper focus with great lens and best lightning possible. D. With appropriate caption. They convey vital information about who's doing what, when, 
were, and sometimes why. Solid captions paired with interesting photographs can spark a reader's interest in a full-text story. Without captions, people draw their own conclusion about the photo. Proximity and Harmony The elements should be close together and scattered and arranged apart from each other. The elements should be not be cluttered and not be competed with each other. Consistency There should be a uniformity of theme on each page. Color and shape. Use color to create interest by providing variety in the design. Color, contrast, and shapes. Emphasis. There should be one point of interest in a page. The element should to be emphasized should be have a different size, shape color or a background.